Hey everyone, this is Justin from Frontly, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom detail view, which is an awesome feature at Frontly, which will allow your users to really get the most out of their record clicks. For this example today, I've put together a bunch of sample data and some stock photos to replicate a student login portal where any student logging in can navigate to this page and click into one of the profiles here to get a better introduction of their fellow classmates. Now, when any of your users click into uh, any of the profiles right now, they're gonna be taken to a default view that's gonna look like this. It is a simple form with all of the row elements displayed um, on the form, and you have the ability to customize all of the uh, fields and permission levels as well as some other features on the left-hand side here. It's an effective uh, detail view, but it is a little too simplistic for what I'm trying to achieve. So from here, I'm going to switch over to the custom detail view type. And right away, you'll notice that it looks very similar to the creation of a new page to any of your app pages. And that's because it is, and that's the beauty of a custom detail view. You can input any block that you want and reference any spreadsheet or data source that you want not just the data source that your uh, user clicked into. So before I configure any of my blocks, I want to make sure that the record clicks of my users are being directed to a full page to this custom detail view instead of a pop-up modal. And from there, I'm going to input an image block that is really going to be a blown up image of the profile picture that was uploaded. Uh, the dynamic variable that I'm going to be inserting is the detail view record and the column that the image is stored, which is the image one. And I'm just going to set the height to 400. Oops. The last thing that I want to do before moving on to my next block is by switching the image fit from cover to contain. That way the image won't be too stretched out when it loads. And if you're concerned about the image not loading after configuring your details, don't worry. Uh, in the edit mode, it's supposed to appear this way, but it will update and show when you do the live preview. So yeah, moving right along, I'm going to jump to uh, the, my next block, which will be the info list. And what I'm trying to do here is to essentially create a block that shows the details that a default detail view would show which is just the student information. Um, so I've uploaded that spreadsheet and I'm going to update the row ID to that of the detail view record and reference the frontly ID of that sheet. And you can see those details populate right away. For the next and final block, what I want to add to my custom detail view are the descriptions that each student has written of themselves that have been submitted, uh, presumably from another part of the app. For this, I'm going to create another info list block here. And this time, I'm going to reference another spreadsheet that I've labeled introductions or intros. What I've done beforehand is I've organized the data from the sheet to have their Frontly IDs match the student's Frontly ID from the previous sheet. So when I inject the di same dynamic variable, you'll see that the data from these blocks will correspond to the same student. Uh, before I advance to the preview now, I want to do a few housekeeping things. Uh, for one, I don't think we need to show the user ID here. I'm going to update the label to introductions and maybe update this label to a little about me hopping over, get rid of the user ID. I'll also get rid of the image. And from here, it looks like we are all set. I'm going to save my page. And if we preview the app now, it will pull up the class list and clicking into anybody here, let's pick Sarah, will pull up their enlarged portrait, their details, and lastly, their submitted introductions, just as we planned. So that'll be it for your overview of the custom detail view. As you can see, there are near limitless opportunities and possibilities with how you can customize your record clicks and your detail views. 
We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, please do reach out to the Frontly team. We can't wait to see what you make with this feature. Thanks a lot.